here at home, the Edgewater Gymnastics team is preparing for its annual meet held in Panama City Beach, and we are learning more about it this morning about the athlete's path to success. Yeah, Mackenzie McClintock live from the gym to bring us that story. Good morning, Mackenzie. Hey, good morning. Chris and Aaron have such a fun office today alongside Edgewater Gymnastics and their lovely coaches, one of them being Anna Rodriguez, who joins us now so excited and ready to compete this weekend. Everybody is, Anna, and it's all for the Edgewater Classic. Let's talk about what time that meet gets started. Well, in a week and a half's time. Oh, we're just so thrilled. I mean, we didn't even know if we were going to get to have a season at all this year. And now we're having one of the largest meets in the state of Florida, and it's got 850 athletes. It's going to kick off Friday morning. That's next Friday, the 12th, and it goes all the way through President's Day weekend, Monday, the 15th, and it's going to start at 8 a.m. on Friday and go all the way until 6 p.m. on Monday night. And that is going to be a jam-packed, gymnastics-filled weekend. And we're just thrilled to get to host 13 different states. We have people coming from North Dakota, everywhere, all over the region, and we're just thrilled. We just can't wait to host all these different coaches and athletes. And we're really trying to make it a nice, safe environment with COVID because all the athletes, they're going to wear their masks until they get into the competition arena. Coaches, judges will be wearing masks. Spectators will be wearing masks. And it's different. Usually our meets are jam-packed with spectators and only three spectators per athlete this time so it might not be a, the big crowd that we're used to having but we're just excited we get to compete these girls deserve it all they cannot wait to try to keep their title as undefeated gymnasts for this year hey that sounds incredible so of course too we have footage from so many years past that you've competed talk about their tradition of being able to still have this meet and what it means to compete on your home turf i mean it is our 17th year hosting this meet and I cannot commend the community enough for supporting our competition. Rocket Lanes gives all the athletes free passes to skate. And it's just little things like that that the kids are going to remember. Every time they come to Panama City, they get a free t-shirt. We go to competitions up north. We, you know, we go to Tennessee. We go to Texas sometimes. And we see gymnasts that come from those states, and they're wearing our t-shirts. It's really cool to just go everywhere all over the southeast, all over the country, and see athletes that represent our meet it means that much to them it's not just a competition it's like home away from home for them so it's really neat to keep this tradition going and like i said 17 years of hosting this meet it's just it keeps getting better it really does i love that and facebook edgewater gymnastics find them because they're going to stream the level nines and the level tens you don't want to miss that competition and we'll check back in with you in the six o'clock hour all right Excellent. I'm all here for it. All right. <laughs> Me too. I can't wait to keep getting the details from them this morning. As a former gymnast myself, Lauren Hope, I can say that once you start to tumble, you don't start to feel the cold weather as much. Good morning. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. The only problem is we all can't do that quite. We're mesmerized by uh, them this morning.